on the previous episode. The cheek of it, I don't believe it. He just doesn't stop, does he? Scott, come here. I've had enough of this. Don't win, don't win. Stop. Who's Scott? Peter Wood? What are you doing here? Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. One thing I was not expecting was to see Peter Wood again. I thought he was just some corrupt criminal from the past, but apparently he is a changed man. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. It's actually been over two years or about two years since we last saw him. Uh, it was Christmas a couple of years ago um, that he was committing all this insurance fraud and all that sort of stuff. But yep, he said that he has... Uh, sorted his life out and everything is back on track so I have no reason to doubt him in fact if it wasn't for him I wouldn't be where I am today so yeah I have given him the opportunity to use the guest room he took me up on the offer and he is now resting so we're gonna leave him to that but yeah hopefully later I'm gonna be able to speak to him and find out exactly what he was doing at the horses because I'm sure if he was looking for me he would have just come to the house so that's kind of weird. He has a bit of explaining to do. As for Scott, well, he was never seen. I thought it was him. It really was a real shock. Okay, so what I need to do is give the sheep some food. We'll just head around the corner. We'll get the 390 tea fired up. And here, of course, is my slurry spreader, which we bought in the previous vlog. Got a fantastic deal on that, and I'm so pleased I bought it. It's just going to come in handy so much. Uh, it's got a really good working width. Obviously, it's brand new. But you can't really keep it clean. <laughs> That's uh, impossible. Its job is to spread slurry. Uh, but yeah, it is going to be used so much over the next few years, at least. But I think I do want to make sure that the pigs have enough straw as I do need to have quite a bit of solid manure as well. The slurry will be put on the grassland in the spring, but the solid manure is required for the greenhouses, so yeah. In fact, they might already have produced quite a bit. If they have, we'll get it scooped up and taken to the greenhouses. Even if the greenhouses don't need the manure yet, it's fine. We can just start to make a pile up there. Okay, so let's just go and grab a bale and put it next to the trough and then we can pull some grass off by hand and then probably put the bale back up here because I find it highly unlikely that they're going to require a full bale although we do have quite a few sheep they don't eat that much and they are still grazing a bit there's a bit of grass left on the ground but the consumption will start to increase okay Right, so they have the hay that they require. The water troughs are all full for the horses, the sheep, and for the pigs. Okay, we'll just pop it back in the shed. Yeah, although it doesn't look like there's that many bales here, there is enough there to feed them for a very long time, probably a couple of years, because uh, overall they don't really consume that much. Unlike cows and the pigs, actually, they really do eat a lot. I don't know if I'll ever have cows. Probably not. I don't really have the space for them. But it's a possibility for the future. Okay, so let's just go and check everything over here. I did leave the gate open. Because I've already been there this morning to do the water. But I think it is time just to shred a bit more straw. So we'll get the straw shredder attached. And I really do need to find a shed for it. Now it's winter, I don't want to have it outside. Now I think um, it would be wise to go and speak to somebody who works at the stable. Because as one of my, in fact several of my vlog viewers uh, pointed out, the first night where we had the Land Rover which tried to run over me, or at least just drove through the gate, uh, that was definitely not Peter Wood. 
that was Scott. So that was only a couple of nights ago, meaning that he is still going to be most likely looking to steal Jet or whatever he's trying to do. So I want to try and find out a bit more information about him. He does seem to be a threat. Okay, just get that put into there. And I could really do with a bucket to muck them out. There isn't that much there yet, but it's going to start to accumulate. We want to keep it nice and clean. Okay, let's just put this in here. As for the grain, I don't have a date yet for when the lorry can come and pick it up. So it's just going to be staying here for now. It's not really a priority because there isn't much. In fact, it could even stay here until we harvest next year. Since we have canola, which is just there, and we have oats, I think it is. Oh, we're going to have oats. We don't have oats yet. Okay, right. So, let's just go and grab a bucket. We'll make it nice and clean. And then we'll see if Peter Wood is up. And we'll try and get to the bottom of what exactly he is doing here. It's a mystery. There's the bucket straight in front. You can probably live over at the other farm. And there is actually an allocated area to put the solid manure. Don't know if we use it at the moment. I guess it depends how much there actually is and how much the greenhouses require the manure. Whilst I remember, I will close this gate. I do have a strict rule regarding that gate. It is only to be used to get to the sheep's pasture or into that particular field. Otherwise, I don't want to be crossing the field. It's just unnecessary compaction. That is why I put this track in. So I might as well use it. Okay, let's scoop. I'm sure there's not going to be too much here. Bucket load number one. Yes, I think I'll put it here for now. But I, I might not make a habit of it. I think I'll probably just take it straight up to there. In the future. I should probably get a, an allocated trailer. A trailer dedicated just to moving manure. Come to think of it, actually the one which um, Dennis was using to transport the pig food, I think you can have sides put on that, but I don't know if Dennis would appreciate me using his trailer for manure. Okay, there we go. All clean. Yes, not very much at all. So they don't require anything else, I will just top up the water again. They get through it so quickly. I, I literally just did that this morning. I wonder if it's leaking. It seems to leak. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of pigs here. Plenty of food though, so there's no issues. Just got to keep on top of them. Right, let's head back to the house, we'll have a bit of breakfast. And we'll speak to Peter. I want to know what the main reason is for him coming back. Because we did not end on a good note, that is for sure. Okay, give uh, Dogwin some breakfast as well. He'll appreciate it. Okay, let's see if he's up and about. Oh, my head. What time is it? 10.30. Time you're up. Oh, you're right, Dagwin. So then, Peter, uh, what brings you back? Why were you snooping around the horses at night? Right, I reckon that this Scott chap is working for a much bigger gang. I think he's just at the bottom of the ladder, snooping around for these high-value horses. But surely there's not loads of high-value horses where the owner doesn't realise it's worth a lot of money? Only I would be that stupid. Yes, well, this might be an exception, 
but you don't know what other crimes they're committing. They might be stealing them as well. Fair point. So what do we do? I was going to go and speak to the people at the stable. Now why would you do that? Well, you said that he was working for a bigger gang, but he works at the stable. He wouldn't go and get a job there just to, uh, to steal my horse, would he? Hmm, you're right. Maybe it's just a one-off. Well, I think we're going to have to go and find some more information. I'm going to go up to the stable, see if I can find anybody else working there, and get to the bottom of who he is. Right, okay. I'll have some breakfast. I don't know how well Peter has thought this through, but he seems to want to help. I am just thinking that he is just a lone wolf, but I don't know. Okay, let's go and see if anybody else but Scott works there. I'm sure they do, otherwise it would be called the Scott Nick Stable. What I'm looking for is somebody who owns it or manages it. See if he's here. Yep, as usual, parked in the same place as always. Right, where do we go? I think I will go into here. It doesn't really matter if he sees me. Let's just park here. Right, I can't see anything in his vehicle. It all seems very clean, actually. Well, there's some other cars here. Well, there's a car here. So maybe somebody is uh, working inside. It's all very quiet. Hmm. Deserted. This is strange. Let's see if anybody answers. Oh, uh, hello. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions about Scott. I believe he works here. Scott? Hmm. You must be talking about Mr. Nix, our cleaner. Your cleaner? That's right. Hmm. What can you tell me about Mr. Nix? Hmm. Not much, really. He's a part-time worker here, and he cleans the stables. It's funny, really, because he don't really like horses. I think they scare him. He doesn't like horses. Now that's interesting. What's all this about? Is it okay if I practice my horse riding here? Uh, yeah. That should be okay. Thanks. Come on, boy. It's your time to shine. So are you going to tell me what this is all about now? Can I trust you? I guess. You really don't know what Scott Nix is up to, do you? No. This is Jet, and although I don't know his actual value, I do know he is worth a lot of money, and Scott knows that too. But, as I said, Scott hates horses. Yes, but that doesn't matter. He just wants to buy the horse cheaply, but legally, and then sell it on for a fortune. He doesn't know that I know that Jet is valuable. Ah, oh, I see. He does seem kind of weird. He never smiles and is always angry. He keeps visiting Jet in the dark. The plan is to catch him in the act and then pass him on to the police. Can I ask a massive favour from you? Okay. Next time he leaves here, in the dark, please can you text me and let me know he might be coming? Sure. Sounds like a good idea. Thanks. You're a great help. Um... Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. My name's Dagwin. Nice to meet you. Well, there we go, Jet. You're back. Um, yeah. Amazing. He is an amazing horse. He, he really is. Uh, he must be worth an absolute fortune. I'll have to get him valued. Anyway, let's go and pick up the truck. And I think I will go and speak to Dennis. It's unlikely that Scott is going to strike during daylight hours, as I mentioned before. 
but there is always a chance of it. So now that we've got Sophie on our side, that's just fantastic. I think she understands now who Scott actually is. Well, we don't know fully who he is. Just that he's very interested in getting a horse cheap or possibly for free. No sign of him. Can't see him anywhere. So my JCB is still in the same place as before. So we could go the back way and jump into it and then block him. But I think, yeah, just to begin with, I want to go and speak to Dennis because it's thanks to Dennis and whoever it is in the care home that we know uh, that all this information about Scott. Because the person either knows him or knows somebody who knows him. Getting inside information. Now as for food, I did buy some yesterday and I've got my potatoes which is always good. Uh, so I don't think I need to buy any more at the moment. The potatoes are fantastic, they're so really nice uh, potatoes to grow. I think we're going to grow some more next year. Okay here we are, we're going to have to wait for Dennis to be ready. Okay, uh, the worker here just said hold on a few minutes because he's a bit busy. I think he might be in the bathroom. Dagwin. Ah, oh, Dennis. Good to see you. How have you been? Oh, well, you know, all right. To be honest, I'm enjoying it here. Well, it's really good to hear, Dennis. Now, I've just got one thing that I need to ask you. Um, you know this man in the care home who knows about Scott? Oh, uh, why? Well, uh, could I ask you a few more questions about him? Oh, go ahead then, Dagwin. Can you tell me who he is? and how he knows all this information about Scott. Well, from what I can understand, I think he used to be a private detective. Seriously? I'm not sure, actually. Unless that was a dream. He knows so much about everything. Oh, I see. So he might have been a private detective, or he might have not, depending on if it was a dream. Aye. But what I can tell you is he does crack some good jokes. Do you want to hear one? Um, I'm a bit busy, Dennis, but go on. A man walks into a pub, which is all filled with smoke. Now, he inhaled, and all the smoke disappeared. How is this possible? Um... He opened a window. Oh, blimey, Dagwin. Use your imagination. No. He inhaled the smoke. And then said, I'm an ex-tractor fan. Ah, <laughs> he's an ex-tractor fan. I, I get it. I get it. Very good. Um, has he won the awards for these jokes? Well, how should I know, Dagwin? Right. What else did you need? Oh, that's everything, thanks Dennis. Um, yeah, make sure you look after yourself. That I will, Dagwin. Okay, right, well, we didn't get very far there, but... He might have been a private detective. It makes sense, I suppose. I think I'm going to go back to the farm. And rest, have a bit of food. And then we'll wait until later. We'll get into position. And then we'll see if uh, Scott is going to strike. If he is going to, with a bit of luck we can catch him. Okay. Welcome back everybody. So I've been speaking to Peter and we have thought up a battle plan. Uh, Peter is going to stay here until he hears the word from us. Uh, if Scott does turn up, what he's going to do is he's going to drive up the road and block it with his Land Rover. I'm going to go up there now and hide in the JCB and yeah, well I'm hoping that if he does start to uh, to move then Sophie is going to send us a text, that'd be great, and um, then we can strike. If we just block him in from all angles that'd be fantastic. It's all still locked up, all secure. The horses are both here. The sun is going down. Okay, so let's walk over here. I'm going to 
sit in the JCB. You can't see it, it's completely hidden. So, provided I don't have any lights on, we should really be uh, disguised or hidden. Should still be here. Yep, there it is. Nobody would even think to come up here. It's just private land. Right, so it's quite cold, and I can't have any lights on or the heater, so we're just going to have to sit in here and wait. This just seems ridiculous, but what can we do? not possible and now it's snowing motion detected well I never got a text I didn't see any lights the good thing about this JCB is you can really light the place up it seems quiet oh no what's this wheel marks Jess no! Ah, failed! Where's Peter? So much for the text. Time to call the police and review the footage from that camera. <laughs> 